Oh my gosh, we are back at this again. Access to grind, see you next fall, and big fan, not gonna lie. Big fan. Today, we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to the destructive medical scenes and deranged injuries from Roblox. Fair warning, lots of the red stuff ahead. Let's dive right in. Oh my gosh, we are back at this again, taking a lot of bullet wounds. We see people who come to the emergency department with bullet injuries, gunshot wounds, okay, GSWs. We worry about entrance and exit wounds. We worry about the underlying organs. We do need to kind of gauge what type of weapon was used because it depends on how the bullet's gonna go through your body. People say all the time, no, bullets don't bounce around. But they do. We see it all the time where they actually change trajectory. We actually try to first identify if we can't see an exit wound or count the appropriate number of holes, we actually will end up putting paper clips or some sort of little piece of metal where a hole is, get an x-ray really quick to see if it correlates to where a bullet might be in the body. Oh my gosh. It's like blunt trauma. Initial blunt trauma, left lower quadrant of the abdomen. That's what I would infer here. You do have your pelvic bone there. That can get fractured, but the abdomen itself and the left lower quadrant, it's mostly large intestine. You do have some blood vessels. From a female anatomy, you'll actually have the ovary. You just worry about vascular structures in that area, making sure there's not a lot of bleeding. Also taking an injury to the right leg. You do have to worry about the knee joint. And then below that, you have your tibia and your fibula that you have to be concerned about fractures, dislocation at the joint, and then any contusion. When I say a fracture, I am meaning a broken bone. Then we'll describe if it is a hairline fracture, meaning it's just a crack through, or is it a displaced fracture, meaning there's a separation of those bone fragments. <gasps> Fall from great heights. Great height in medicine is 15 feet or three times your height. This is not exact, okay? If there is a significant mechanism of injury from a fall, there is concern there could be significant injuries in your body that are not obviously seen. So you have to run it like it's a trauma. Whoa. And this patient would never make it to the hospital because obviously they will likely be there. An ax on the beach. Sneak attack. Oh my gosh, we got an arm that has been severed off. We talked about tourniquets. In this case, if the severed arm is so close to the axilla, AKA your armpit, where are you gonna put the tourniquet? It wouldn't be a situation where you can actually put a tourniquet, but you do have major blood vessels. A lot of times when the blood vessel gets lacerated, cut, totally severed off, it actually retracts. Retract. Oh, we got a lot of destruction to the legs. Biggest thing you always worry about is your femoral artery, femoral vein. The major blood vessels there are right at your groin. You can feel them. And then they actually dive deep, kind of midway down behind the femur and then go behind your knee. It's very interesting that we have it there. If you have an injury that's down to your lower extremity, then you potentially can use a tourniquet. You can use cloth. You can try to use a belt. The belt is hard to cinch down, but you need something to kind of spin to tighten it and then hold it in the place. I've seen people come in, their forearms or their biceps, or different parts of their body have been ripped off due to bullet wounds. Biggest thing that we do when somebody comes in that situation is to basically get the bleeding to stop. Now you wanna check the neural function and then you wanna check how intact things are. Oh my gosh. Shotgun injuries depends on the type of round that's being fired. Is it those super small? Is it one big slug? You see people when we get x-rays, they've had previous injuries and they're just like spray painted with a bunch of little pellets everywhere. People always ask, like, hey, can you get the bullets out? You can't necessarily get the bullets out because you're gonna cause more problems. Typically they just sit in there and unfortunately a lot of them are made of lead and you have to worry about future lead poisoning. Running down a hallway. Oh, stairs. Oh, man. Oh, man. We see falls down one step and many steps. Sometimes you literally can just twist an ankle off of one step and you sprain it or break it versus you fall down a full set of stairs and nothing happens. That is a tough fall. Holy cow. It's the longest set of stairs ever. We always ask, were the stairs covered in carpet? Was there any other injury? Did you fall sliding down on your butt? Did you go you know, head over heels, tumbling down? It helps to describe it to us so then we can think about the mechanism of injuries that might happen. 
And we're still going. One hour later. I don't think you can survive. The, I mean, maybe you could. If you're falling head over heels, then there's a lot more areas that could be injured. We'll do a full head to toe assessment, palpating all the different areas that you would think they would be injured, but basically pushing on the skeleton and making sure you know, no area hurts. If that area hurts, obviously we do imaging to double check. Holy cow. That was a very, very, very dramatic fall downstairs. But it's a massive falls. You may end up doing CT scans as well. Just depends on the injuries. The biggest things you worry about outside of fractures of your long bones of like your upper and lower extremities would be cervical injuries. Typically, most people would be put in a cervical collar and everybody hates it, even though it's trying to protect you from causing more potential damage. We see people get hatchet injuries. You know what a hatchet is, don't you, bug? The sharp edge, but not like super sharp. So it causes a lot of like blunt trauma with some lacerations. We sometimes can see some fractures of bones with this due to the mechanism of hitting a limb with it or people trying to block their bodies. Brass knuckles, the concern is because you're hitting somebody with metal, that is gonna cause a lot of soft tissue injury and fracture. We shouldn't be using this stuff, not hitting each other, not shooting each other. Breakdown of tissue releases potassium into your system, into the bloodstream, because they're typically in cells. And so when somebody has that, we worry about something called hyperkalemia. Too much potassium can cause cardiac arrhythmias where you can go into cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. The other thing is you can actually cause rhabdomyolysis. You see this a lot when people work out too much, but also it could happen in burn victims, can happen in somebody who has a lot of trauma to their tissue. The byproducts of the broken down tissue clog up your kidneys and you can go into renal failure or kidney failure. Blood trauma to the head can cause skull fractures, could also cause intracranial bleeding. The biggest thing you worry about is the epidural hematoma that's typically caused by a middle meningeal artery. Then you worry about a subdural hematoma, which again, is typically due to trauma. We see it on imaging, it looks like a crescent moon. Say there's a ton of bleeding, you might actually do a ventriculostomy. A neurosurgeon will come in, they do a burr hole, they put a tube into the lateral ventricle on the opposite side to drain out your CSF to give you more space. Okay, a close range rifle shot to the right lower extremity. You can have significant destruction of the bone, bone! or it can miss and go straight through the tissue versus seeing somebody's leg almost torn right off. Just like that. In that circumstance, if there's still a proximal limb left, meaning there's still a piece of limb, tourniquet that, get the bleeding to stop. If you guys enjoyed this and you enjoyed me talking about the injuries that we see in this game, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.